Hi everyone, today I want to share with you my favorite preschool school themed books and first day of school books. If you have a child starting school for the first time, you definitely want to check these out. I also have a video with the first day of preschool tips and 10 tips for a smooth back to school transition. So make sure to check this out. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever there's a new video and give this video a big thumbs up. You can find me on Instagram at fun with mama. I'm going to start with my favorites. Llama Llama Mrs. Mama is one of my absolute favorite children's books. Llama Llama is going to school for the first day and he's really, really scared. Anna Dudney, that's the author. The writing that she has in the book, the pictures, it really speaks to a child's emotions. The words, they're not too many, they're not too little, they're just the perfect amount. Llama Llama, warm in bed, wakey wakey, sleepy head. Llama, school begins today, time to learn and time to play. So it goes through Llama Llama getting to school for the first time. He gets out of bed. He goes to a strange new school. The, the line is strange new teachers, strange new toys, lots of people, lots of noise. And then look at Llama as he says bye to his mama. You get, you get through this progression where he starts enjoying school and he's like, okay, this is odd. I'm enjoying school, I'm enjoying all the new toys and the games. And then he does go to a point where he misses his mom. And that's okay, kids will miss you when they're back at school. But then it's recess time, they go outside, they play in the playground. And then he starts having a lot of fun and playing with his toys and guess what? Mama Llama comes back. The end of the book shows Llama Llama coming to the realization that it's okay to miss your mom and that there's lots to do at school and that Llama Llama loves school and he loves his mom too. It's a really, really cute book. I have our very own Llama Llama. Llama Llama Red Pajama is also a very, very popular children's book. It's about Llama Llama being scared to sleep in his own room at night. It's a really cute book and I highly recommend anything by this author. The Llama Llama books are amongst our favorites. It was a favorite for my son when he was young. Now he's 12. It was a favorite with my daughter. So you're going to buy it once and you're going to use it forever or as long as your kids are young. And then you know what? When your kids are grown up, then maybe you can pass it down to the grandchildren. Another favorite book for my youngest daughter is D.W.'s Guide to Preschool. If you are familiar with the Arthur series from when you were a child, it's the same D.W. And we checked this out from the library when my daughter was actually two years old. And I don't know what it was, but something about it. She just loved this book. And I would keep checking it out from the library and then I realized that, you know what, I need to buy it for my daughter. I searched and I found it on Amazon and I ordered it in from London. But this is a lovely book and it's not about the words I find in this book. My daughter was really drawn to the illustrations. She loved going through and seeing what was happening in the classroom. Like if you look, there's these little boys who are crying as they are being dropped off at their first day of school. My daughter noticed that and I would ask her. She'd be like, mom, look, baby's crying. And I would ask her, well, why are they crying? What happened? And then she'd say, she'd explain that, you know what, their mom is leaving or their grandma's leaving and they're scared. Then she loved looking through the pictures, seeing the fish and the animals. There's a lot of relatable images in this story. Art time, washing hands. It also showcases children fighting because, I mean, kids do fight at school. They do want to take the same toys and use the same items. So I think almost in every page there is children maybe fighting or almost every other page. My kids love that. See, here. <laughs> the babies on the bus go wah, wah, wah. Where in class the kids will sit around in circle time and do their songs. So it basically goes through what a normal day in school is like. The pictures are beautiful. When my daughter was two, I never really even had to read the words. We would just open the book and go through the pictures. And oftentimes she would pull the book and she'll say, Mama, I want to read to you. And she would read me the books looking at the story, her own version, while looking at the pictures and telling me exactly what was going on. DW loves preschool. And then she cries a lot. Why, what happened? Who's crying? The baby. Why? She was worried? Tell me where the red paint is in the picture. Yes, and yellow and blue. For me, these are my two must-have 
back to school books for preschoolers ages two to probably five or six. I'm going to go through more books that are great for back to school time. You can get these at the library if you want. You don't have to own it, but we have a lot of themed books in our home that we take out at different times of the year. So for example, fall books, we have winter books, we have a lot of different variety. And I just installed this area back here, which is a little reading nook. We read every single night. My kids love reading and they love reading with me. So we incorporate reading into our lives. I'm an avid reader, so my kids love reading too. And every night we choose a few picture books. Right now I have older children as well. So for my five-year-old, she will choose two or three picture books to read at night, mostly two. And then I will read the picture books and then I would jump straight into reading a chapter book aloud. Another book I wanna recommend, and I would say this is also for preschoolers, is Fancy Nancy Jojo's First Day Jitters. What I love about this book is it's a lift the flap book. Jojo is Fancy Nancy's sister and she's going to preschool for the first time and Fancy Nancy's trying to explain to her why preschool is fun and why school's fun and she explains to her that you know you got to be fancy and choose your your clothes for school that day and children love the lift the flap. Whenever you lift a flap it's exciting it's something hidden in there and it gives children something special to do when they're reading the book. Each page has two lift the flap areas and I would say this is appropriate for children ages two and up. The only thing is, because it's a paperback book, lift the flap sections can tear easily, which is harder for younger kids. But that's why generally when it comes to lift the flap, we do board books. But even at five years old, which is what my daughter is right now, this is one of the books that she grabs immediately. She loves reading it. Another book that is quite funny and interesting is Miss Bindergarten Gets Ready for Kindergarten. Don't you just love her name? Bindergarten. <laughs> Miss Bindergarten gets ready for kindergarten. When I first read this book, it didn't seem like anything amazing, but when I read it to my daughter for the first time, she loved it. Why did she love it? Because of the pictures. She loved seeing Miss Bindergarten's classroom going from here, which was not a nice classroom, she said. And then eventually, this is what Miss Bindergarten's classroom looks like. She loved it. She thought, wow, what a big transformation. But what the book is about is it's about Miss Bindergarten and her classroom, as well as the children and students in her classroom as they get ready. So it follows a A, B, C, D progression, like Adam Krupp wakes up, B, Brenda Heath brushes her teeth. And it showcases, you know, the routine of what the school morning looks like for children, what they do before they get to school, and how the teacher prepares the class. It's a nice book, my daughter liked it. She definitely didn't want me to return it. I find that children at this age, especially in preschool, are very motivated based on images. They like to see the pictures. So it's not always about the words. It's also about the images and the pictures that they're seeing. Another book that I highly recommend is The Invisible String. The Invisible String is actually a story that the author told her own children when they were going to school. And what The Invisible String is about is this imaginary string that lives between people that love each other. So for example, like me and my children, siblings, it's basically about how you're never alone, you're always connected to the people that you love. So whether you're sleeping or whether you're, you know, whether you've passed on, whether you're at school, you are always connected to the people that you love through this invisible string. Your heart is always with them. The pictures are cute. Kids are scared because there's thunder in, the, in their bedroom. And so they run to their mom and they're like, mom, I'm so scared. And the mom tells them, but why are you scared? Because you're always with me. You don't have to be in immediately with me. You don't have to be in my room to be with me. So the children get to a point where they feel comfortable with their invisible string. They're comfortable sleeping at night then in their bed with the thunder and everything because they know. And then they dream about all the ways that we're connected to the people that we love. It's a really sweet book with a very good message and I recommend it. First Day Jitters. I don't know if you've read this one, but Children have jitters when they are going to school for the first day. They're excited, they could be anxious as well, but it's not only children who have first day jitters. So the book starts with Mr. Hartwell telling Sarah, it's time to go to school. And Sarah's like, I'm not going to school. I don't wanna to go to school. And the images I find are very unique because you're seeing the story sort of from Sarah's perspective in some ways. The kids are looking at you, they're looking at the reader where I've never seen that. Generally, you see children looking at each other. 
So that was cool. And the surprising part of the book and the part that I loved the most was that Sarah, who has the first day jitters, is not a student like you would assume. Sarah is actually the teacher. She had first day jitters of going to school. So children can relate to their teacher and understand that the first day of school might feel nervous as well as students, but teachers get nervous too. So that's, uh, that's one I also recommend. The books that I'm recommending here, you don't have to purchase. You can rent at the library, choose the ones that you love, get them, and then you can purchase the ones that you absolutely adore, or just get them at the library every year during the back to school season. The Berenstain Bears go to school. Do you remember reading Barents and Bears books when you were young? I remember checking these out from the library. I loved going to the library as a child. The book includes stickers. My daughter, when she saw this, she was like, this is the best book. So I said, why? So she's like, cause look, they included stickers. Children love stickers. And they include a maze. It goes through what the day is like and you know what happens going on the school bus. I'm not gonna go into too much detail in this book, just know that it's a cute book and if your child likes the Berenstain Bears, check it out. Amelia Bedelia Goes to School. This is an adorable book. I loved it. It reminds me a lot of my daughter. Amelia Bedelia has so much of energy and she's so excited for her first day of school. She can't wait. She bumps into one of the teachers on her way in. She's just hilarious. She's a funny little child with a very eager and happy personality. Pictures are cute. Amelia Bedelia's personality is adorable. Sometimes she makes mistakes and she does silly things, but just because she's really excited, she's so enthusiastic about being at school. I just, I, I really like it. I highly suggest you get Amelia Bedelia's Ghost to School. Another book that is really, really popular, and not just with me, but with many parents, is The Kissing Hand. Chester Raccoon who is nervous to go to school. He doesn't want to go to school for the first day. And his mom, Mrs. Raccoon, says that she'd like to tell him a story about the kissing hand, which is a family tradition that they have in their family. Mrs. Raccoon gives Chester a kiss on his hand and says that whenever he feels lonely or he misses her, he could just take that kiss and put it from the palm of his hand onto his face and it would be like his mom is giving him a kiss. It's really cute and it includes some heart stickers that you can use for your child's first day of school. You could just take one off, put it on their hand, and send them off to school with, the, with that feeling of mom is thinking of me and mom is with me, a part of mom is with me. I really think it's a really cute book and it's really sweet. Great way to handle the separation anxiety by making the child feel like mom's with you still. The newest book that I bought is The Pigeon Has to Go to School. Have you read The Pigeon books? The Pigeon books are really funny. The Pigeon wants a hot dog, the pigeon doesn't want to sleep. Um, one of the most famous ones is The Pigeon Rides the Bus, but The Pigeon is really funny. He says he doesn't need to go to school because he already knows everything and and he looks for every possible excuse for why he doesn't need to go to school. Does school start in the morning? Because you know, what I'm like in the morning it is not pretty. I wish I was a little chick again. A little itty bitty not going to school baby wavy pigeon. It's just, it's so adorable the way he talks. What if I don't like school? What if I really don't like it? What if I really don't like it? What if? And you know, children can reassure the pigeon why school is okay, he'll be fine. What if the teacher, teacher doesn't like pigeons? He looks for every excuse and every reason why he might not like school. So children can relate to how he's feeling because he pretty much says things that the child might be feeling like, what if I don't make friends? What if the children don't like me? It's a really cute book in a very humorous way. So highly suggest all the pigeon books. They're really funny and they're easy, easy reads. As a parent, sometimes you know, when your child wants you to read books and you're reading and reading and it just seems to take forever. This is a good book. Perfect pace, perfect amount of humor and giggles. How to get your teacher ready for school. This is a cute book I got last year. Basically shows children how to take charge and get their teacher ready for school. Children are normally the scared ones and teachers normally ease the child, but this gives the child a different role. Now the child can be a little responsible and help their teacher get ready for school. She's like, why don't I have a cubby? Point to all the drawers on her desk. Whisper, I know where the bathroom is if you ever need to go. It just has, their, it just has a vibe where the children are helping their teacher. When it's time to go home, tell your teacher, good job today. Are you ready for tomorrow? It's sort of, it is funny. 
So this book showcases how children can help their teacher during the school day. The images are cute and it takes on a different story, you know, rather than the norm of the teacher helping a child. Now the teacher's nervous, the teacher doesn't know what to do, and kids can help their teacher. School's first day of school. I recommend this for older children. I wouldn't recommend them for younger preschoolers like three years old and four. I'd say, you know, five and six. They would understand the concept more about school's first day of school. They will also recognize like in public school what the classroom looks like in a public school setting, in a public school setting, and what the playground looks like in a public school setting. This isn't what private school looks like, or at least the private schools that I've been to. So the school is very nervous because there's gonna be many students coming into the classroom. So this, the school has anxiety too, and the school is nervous. For example, now I'm covered with nose milk, thought the school. He had to admit that it was a pretty funny joke though. Even the girl with the freckles liked it. So you see the story from the school's perspective and it's humorous and funny and you know it, it gives a little bit of personality to an object like a classroom that you know you wouldn't really necessarily think of being nervous for the first day of school but yep school's scared of the first day of school too. Hey, Mom, what are you doing? I'm reading books. Which one's your favorite, Lovey? Hmm, so Which I... one was your favorite when you were reading the books with me? Okay, so when I was reading the books, the my favorite was the um, Fancy Nancy and the Best Day Big. Fancy Nancy. What did you like about Fancy Nancy? When, like, basically, her sister Bobo is... Bobo? Oh, and then, what's her name? Jojo. Jojo -Jo. Jo -Jo was going to school, and in this in this book, you um, you can you have openings in every page, but... And in this book, it has, it's called The Beastie Bears, who actually are at school. And then mm, I did the maze in, in the coloring book and the bear stickers. I draw in this because it looked cool. If this video was helpful to you, please give this video a big thumbs up. Thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Yeah, and if you're new to our channel, just know to you should do that. And it, yeah, click the bell. That's five button so we can turn gray and then you follow us. We all have Instagram show. accounts, but follow us at Fun with Mama. Yeah, uh, only mm. Fun with Mama. Follow Fun with Mama. And everyone else. Are we gonna get reading now? Oh yeah, come on. Are we gonna get reading? Okay. Please don't wanna read this one. The pigeon has to go to school.